Soon after people are infected with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, the virus travels through the bloodstream to the brain. Research has found that the brain acts as a reservoir for the virus, which begins to interfere with proteins critical to the health of brain cells or neurons. This leads to the progressive destruction of neurons and eventually to a loss of brain function and dementia. People on antiretroviral medications have undetectable virus in the blood usually, but they still, it's still in the brain and it's still able to damage their, their, their brain cells. And uh, this is the, it's the virus itself that is killing neurons. It's not due to anything else. Alicia Bakis is a neuroscience researcher at Georgetown University Medical Center, studying the AIDS virus. Her team's study found that the brain of an HIV-positive patient shows evidence of damaged neurons, usually a sign of aging, much sooner than in a normal person's brain. Guy Aiken is vice president of scientific affairs at American Health Assistance Foundation. The organization is dedicated to finding cures for age-related degenerative diseases. The HIV is causing that, that blockade and is causing that bad form of the protein to accumulate in the body and it's not being converted into the good form. And so we have less good form and more bad form and that is poisonous to the cells. Like basically if you take Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, you put them together, that's kind of what you have. So at the end of, 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 of this, this, like the course of the dementia, the patients are in a vegetative state. When treated with antiretrovirals, only about 2 to 3 percent of HIV positive patients exhibited the most severe form of dementia. But when left untreated, as many as 30 percent showed the symptoms. Bakis says Georgetown's study is critical in finding a treatment. In theory, one could develop a small molecule that could be used as a therapeutic agent that could be given as a pill, for example, to patients that are already on an HIV regimen. Aiken agrees. A From a purely business side, if drug companies can get two diseases for the price of one drug, then that's a very important step forward for the, uh, for the drug company. Experts say with more HIV-positive patients living to advanced age, the study offers hope for treating their unique form of dementia. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.